Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor with FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic Dirty Uncle Sam Radio. I wanted to do First Amendment 101 tonight. This has been inspired by some of the wonderful trolls that have tried to hit my site and have attacked some of the serious individuals that have been under my YouTube. And I am talking about not only the individuals that have supported Lil' Boy Finnecombe, but have asked legitimate questions. So without further ado, the first thing I'm going to do is go over the First Amendment, because one of these trolls, I believe, needs educated. I believe all the trolls need educated. If they want to appear as if they're halfway intelligent, then they need to understand what the First Amendment is really about, what the First Amendment really says. So, as you can see, this is the First Amendment. First Amendment states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. Why is this important? Apparently, uh, trolls and individuals who don't like what is being said seem to think it is okay to reference their body parts or call other people pussycats, if you will, in a different manner. So let's make it clear. The First Amendment does not cover that, and let me tell you why. I am not Congress. I have made no law. My YouTubes are my YouTubes. I leave the chat open so there can be engaged, intelligent conversation between people whom may see things differently. They may have different points of view, and that's a great thing because that is how we learn from each other. However, you do not have a First Amendment right to go on the channel and do and say whatever you want to do because it is a chat that belongs to me. And I do not even have to leave it open, but I do because I have met some highly intelligent individuals that see things from many different points of view. And I enjoy engaging in different conversations and going back and forth with some of the individuals and trying to see their point of view as they try to see mine. I have no problem whatsoever with that. But if you think for one second you're going to come on my YouTube and continue to attack people with body parts or your little sex toys, you're sadly mistaken because you are now being put on notice as I educate you on the First Amendment to hopefully where you yourself will actually seem like you have some sort of intelligence before you try to claim it is a First Amendment right to call somebody a pussycat by a different name. So, let's make this clear. Congress shall make no law. The First Amendment only covers and limits what the government is allowed to do. It has nothing to do with an individual person. It is what has been put upon the government that they are not allowed to touch. And just as the First Amendment covers the freedom of speech and the freedom that Congress is not allowed to make a law regarding any kind of freedom of speech or the freedom of assembly, we also all have a right to the freedom of assembly. And I choose not to assemble with individuals who are so entirely ignorant that the only thing they can do is reference body parts. From now on, you will be banned. I will not tolerate you attacking individuals in the comment section below about body parts and things like that. Vulgarity will not be tolerated. Now, I'm not saying I won't tolerate a certain amount of cussing. That is not what I'm referring to. You know exactly who you are. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And normally I wouldn't even take the time to address this situation with trolls. But I felt that it was extremely important and a really good thing to address for many reasons. It is an educational opportunity to be able to have people understand what the First Amendment truly is about. And there are so many people 
that honestly do not even understand. It does not limit an individual person. Nor does it give you a right to go into somebody's YouTube, and it means anybody's YouTube, unless. Now, here's the kicker. If it is a government paid YouTube, it is paid by we the people. Now, do I suggest going in there and cursing and acting asinine? Absolutely not. But I will tell you this. I have hardly ever banned people, hardly ever, in the many years that I have been doing this. But be put on notice, I will not tolerate it anymore. If you cannot have an intelligent conversation and the only thing you can do is address body parts because you have no facts, you have no idea about what you're talking about and the only thing you can revert to are, are the four little words to try to break people down, it's not going to work on my channel. I am now, I have now decided I am going to ban you. The people who engage in the messaging underneath my YouTubes are there for intelligent conversation and a reason. They are not there to be harassed and harangued by people who are either A, ignorant, B, children, or C, paid government trolls in which you've already sold your soul. So make no mistake, you will be banned. Now, just as the First Amendment covers what the federal government cannot do, it does not limit the people, it limits only the federal government. And the only thing you need to also understand is it does not limit the states except to a specific very small point. That's why each state has its own constitution. Each state has a Bill of Rights. And I'm going to give you an example of that. Because I want you to understand and I want you to see exactly what I'm talking about. Once again, it does not limit the people. It limits... It limits... The state. So what I'm going to show you right now, and I'm just going to scroll back up just a little bit so you can see, this is the Constitution of Oregon. It is Article 1, the Bill of Rights. In each one of your state constitutions, usually the first Article 1 will be your Bill of Rights. You need to learn them. Why do I say that? Because that's what protects you in your states. So we're going to go to Article 1, Section 8, is the state of Oregon's freedom of speech and press. And it says, no law shall be passed restraining the free expression of opinion or restricting the right to speak, write, or print freely on any subject whatsoever. But every person shall be responsible for the abuse of this right. Once again, it limits the state. It does not limit a private individual. So all those cute little signs, if you have any signs in your area that tells you that, that you are not allowed to freely speak in, if it is a government entity, if it is a state entity, they are in, it. if they try to pass a law that tells you, well, you're not allowed to say certain things in this area. If it is, if they try to pass that as a law, they have violated Article 1, Section 8 of their own Constitution. However, make no mistake, neither the federal nor the state prohibits or limits anything when it comes to the people. We, the people, are the ones that created the states. The states 
otherwise known as nations back in the day, are the ones that created the federal government. Therefore, we are masters over the entities that are now trying to play as our masters. So please, if you want to try to troll, at least appear as if you know what you are talking about. And hopefully, if you're not trying to troll, and you didn't understand the fullness of the First Amendment, or the fullness of what the state constitutions say, hopefully I've been able to help you understand that as well. So let me make this very clear. Anyone who is attacking another person with talking about body parts or my YouTubes will be deleted and banned. Period. I have the right to freely assemble with those that I choose. I do like opposing views, putting links, putting documents, putting anything that would be informative, anything that would maybe make me, okay, let me take a closer look at this and see if maybe this has some, some validity to it. I welcome that each and every time. I do read those. I don't always get to respond because I am very busy, but I do welcome those. But if you think you're going to come onto my channel and you're going to play ignorant and you're going to show that you in the mentality are, are younger than somebody who is in the fourth grade, you're sadly mistaken. So you are free to, you are free to your freedom of speech. You can make your own YouTube and you can speak out and you can say what you want. You're free to assemble with anyone in which you choose, just as I am. So I want to say thank you. Good night. Semper Fidelis. God bless you. Keep everybody in Burns, Oregon in your prayers. The patriots, the politicians, even the corrupt ones, the corrupt FBI, oh, they need it. Because when they engaged in and allowed themselves to be a part of an assassination and assassination attempt on the other individuals that were in that truck. They made themselves a target by the very ones that they took orders from. It's been proven historically that you, will, you have turned yourself into a target by those that you took orders from. Why? Because you yourself are now a witness. And the federal government takes that as a threat. And all the corrupt individuals that are in Harney County, Judge Grassy, Sheriff Ward, each and every one of you individuals, you really need our prayers. Because we know how far this goes up. The cat's out of the box, and it's not going back in. So hopefully you've learned something about the First Amendment, what it does and does not cover, what it limits and what it does not limit. Your First Amendment limits the federal government, your state constitutions, no matter which state you're in, in Oregon, I just picked a constitution because I keep a collection of all of the state constitutions. So I just picked Oregon because it just so happened to be a topic about Oregon. But in each one of your state constitutions, you have a clause for your freedom of speech. And in such, it limits the state. It does not limit the individual. The individuals have a right to say, hey, you're not coming into my house and speaking that way. And you can like it or not, but that's just the way it is. And that, my friends, is called liberty. God bless you and good night.